let me declare that this is warm up and this is one of the everyday is that reality is that the correct spelling yeah that's correct okay thank you everyday math to check reality now if i may ask um so how many people are working now you go into work either part time or weekend or one hour a week or whatever just indicate by saying yes i do or i i now let me if if you are going to work now I, I, if how much do you think you may be paid per hour or how much do you think uh, your friends who are going to work they get paid per hour 11.50 11.50 yeah i say 11 okay so let's use uh you want us to use 11 or 12 which one 11 it's more accurate okay so so um hourly wage hourly wage is eleven dollar so which means somebody goes to work today work eight hours so that's going to be how much daily earning is worth you work eight hours so how much would that be 88 88 dollars okay now if you go if you go every day uh for for one week how much would that be weekly earning mr uk what's that first word and for eleven dollars Hourly wage, hour, like H-O-U-R-L-Y. I was told my handwriting is horrible. Is that true? But okay. for me, it should be 16, 616. So that's eight, eight hours. We're doing five, five days a week because you need to take oh, a break. Days. Okay, okay. Yes. I mean, we can, do, we can do seven days a week. I don't really care. It's just the math that is more important to me. So you want us to do seven days or five days a week? Be, let's just be realistic let's do what is realistic five days okay let's work with five days then okay so in five days you are going to end what 440 dollars 440 dollars okay so now if if you work weekly and you are earning 440 dollars every week no tax deducted no nothing just you work they pay you $11 per hour. They did not take any tax, nothing else. They just give you the entire money. So now for 52, year, for 52 weeks, so let's say yearly, yearly earning. So what would that be? Recognizing that there are 52 weeks per year, right? So what would that be? It will be 21,120. Okay, 21,120. Okay, this is your income. This is a person's income if the person works every single week, five days a week for one whole year. Okay, now let's go. Now, if you are a high school graduate, you know, some of you are going to be graduating in about six months' time, if not less. And uh, you just, are you going to earn minimum wage or something? I think, yes. Okay, you basically... Basically, high school graduates still earn minimum wage. Maybe instead of $11, you may be talking about $11.50 or even $12. It doesn't really matter so much, but we can use $12 to do all this stuff. So, so, now, so granted that, so now let's just add extra to it. Let's just add additional to, you know, for high school graduate, let's just add additional $2,000 to this. So uh, high school, HS graduate, we're adding additional $2,000 to this. So, and $23,120, all right, per year. Now, let's look at, that's the income. Now, let's look at uh, the expense on this income. Let's look at the expense. By that time, now you are, the, you are now the boss. You are now the boss. You're taking care of yourself, everything. So now let's look at the expense on this amount. So um, what are the major expenses that everybody uh, must make major yeah. expense food rent okay let's start with rent or uh, we can start with food so expense so rent and food what else what are the major uh, factors clothing clothing utility yeah utility okay utility uh what else how about your cell phone I don't think any of you is, is going to drop their cell phone just because they graduated. So how about um, internet? Oh. I don't think any of you are, uh, will not will will live without internet in this age. 
You should just put bills to group all that together. That that's fine. We can we can group them uh, later on. Then we just want to make a realistic um, estimate. So now, how much do you think you are going to you spend? Uh, pay, you know, as a single person. You know, I'm not talking about big house. Just rent for one month. It's like how much? Probably like nine hundred. Okay, nine hundred. So let's write nine hundred. 900 multiplied by that's a month right yeah so do by 12 to get it for one year that's 10,800 okay so rent comes down to 10,800 okay how about food how much realistically do you think you you can spend on food a week a week okay a week 150 so now if you have 150 if anybody agree, disagree, you can say I disagree, and then you can bring your figures. Maybe we will uh, pick one of them. So one fifty dollars, that's per week. Then multiply it by uh, fifty-two. Seven thousand eight hundred. One fifty. Do it. Do it again, please. One fifty multiplied by fifty-two. Just verify. I'm not saying you are wrong. Just verify. Double check. Seven thousand eight hundred. Okay. Seven thousand eight hundred. Okay, so how about clothing? How much do you think you can spend on clothing per, per month or even per year? Just if you're saying, if you're giving me a month, give me either per month or per year. Just think about it. Uh, I think maybe like 300 or no, maybe like 400 a year. Okay, 400 a year. I don't know, it's just a guess because. Yeah, that's fine. So we can use 300, we can use 400. Clothing means including your Nike shoes, all those very nice shoes that you wear, you're wearing right now, your shoes, your clothing, all those things you wear, you know, is part of clothing. So let's say 400. Is that reasonable for one year? I say five, but boy, you're right. Okay, let's take 400. Okay, so how about utilities? So utilities include uh, electricity and gas, stuff like that. So how much would that be so in a month, in a month or in a year? And then a month for a year. That's hold on. Is it, is it reasonable to say that every month you may be spending about eighty dollars in utilities? I don't think. So. Is it more or less? That's include water, electricity, water, water, water the water bill, gas, gas, and all that. that yes. Yeah. Just sum up to that amount. Well, around that amount. Around how much? Hundred or eighty? I'll say around a hundred. Okay, let's use hundred. So hundred times twelve. 100 times 12. Is that not uh, 12,000? Yeah. Is it 1,200 or 12,000? Oh, oh, it's 1,200. 1,200, okay. How about your cell phone? So what's your average cell phone bill? I, I'm not talking about buying the system, just the, what you pay every month. Well, like $50 a month, maybe. $50, okay. Maybe. Let's say, let's say $50 multiplied by 12. Okay, like if you're using some uh, some plan like, um, what is that plan? It doesn't really matter. So now 50 times 12. Data. Is that 600? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's write 600. Okay, so how about the uh, internet? It's going to be like 100 a month. Okay, 100 a month. So it is reasonable to say 1,200 as well. 1,200. Okay, so what is there any other thing you think we should add? How about um, health insurance? Because you may fall sick. How many of you have been to the hospital? <laughs> it's not free. <laughs> Going to hospital is not free. I hope everybody knows that. Yeah. I think if you're making this much, you're probably on government. So. Yeah, I mean, let's see. We, we are being realistic. So if you are buying health insurance, how much do you think you should spend? Because health insurance is not free. If you go to hospital, it is not free. Everybody should understand that. Somebody is paying something. So now for you to enjoy maybe your parents' health care, they are paying something. So if you are now paying it by yourself, how much uh, do you think you should pay for health insurance? 55. Uh, 55 a, a month, right? Yeah. Okay. So 55 a month. Let's write 55 multiply by 12. Please help. What is that? It should be just slightly above uh, 600 or something. More 660. Than 660. 660. 
Yes. Okay, so let's say 660. Okay, so now remember, no tax is deducted from your earnings. So now please add up this amount. Add it up. Use calculator, please. I got 22,600. Okay, so 22,600. No tax was deducted. So granted that there is a, a tax deduction, how much do you think you, you'll, be, you'll be paying in taxes? Anyway, you may not know this. It might be at least minimum is 30% of your income. That's the minimum. You said, you, know, 10, huh? you said 10%? I didn't say 10, I said 30%. 30%? Yes. Damn. That's what I said. But we can do 10% if you want. Okay, uh, we do 20. So I'm just trying to come up with um, a reasonable es estimate. Because when you, if you're working, if you're working and you're earning $400 a week, they don't pay you the whole of $400 a week unless you're working behind the table. So they deduct something. So you, they will probably be paying you every week $300, every week $300. Okay, so, but let's just do, um, let's do 20% of tax. So now calculate 20% of uh, 2,000, 20% um, of um, this is total expense. So calculate 20% of 20, 23,120. Well, I searched it up online. And if you make that much, you would make uh, $18,863 a, a year, like after tax with Maryland taxes. Okay. So now, but let's do 20% and see what the figure gives us. Just do 20 multiplied by 23,120, then divide it by 100. That should give you the 20%. Or you can do 20%, 20 divided by 100, which should give you 0 0.2. Then 0 0.2 multiplied by uh, 23,000. Is that difficult to do? 20 divided by 100 is... 0 0.2 then multiply by 23,120 that's 4,620 so this is 4,624 so now if you subtract this so 22 thousand not, not 22 23,120 minus 4,624 so what should that give us two three one two zero uh, minus four six um two four so that's eighteen thousand uh, um wow. alan jr you were right eighteen thousand four hundred and ninety six so effectively effectively the money that comes into your the money that comes into your account into your account is this amount now the expense you are running is this amount so are you running um, deficit or surplus? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Repeat. Okay, let me repeat. Are you running deficit or surplus? I don't know if you've heard of this word before. Deficit, let me rewrite it. Deficit or surplus. Deficit means that the money, no, is the money you are spending or you are supposed to spend is more than the income you are actually earning. It's a surplus. Okay. It cannot be surplus because the, the expense is more. The expense is more. Oh, that's you expensive. Supposed, I read it wrong. Yeah, so you are supposed to you are supposed to spend about twenty-two thousand six hundred. But the money that comes into your account is about eighteen thousand four hundred and ninety-six. So that means they are, you you need to look for four thousand somewhere in order to actually meet up your total expenses. You see what I'm saying? So somebody said, uh, who said that uh, if you're earning this amount, you may be into government program? Me, I saw that. See? So yeah. now, why am I saying this? Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. If you have a high school diploma, which many of you are aspiring to get right now, and you base your work just on that your high school diploma only, no improvement, no nothing, you are going to get. You are going to be making an average of uh, twenty-three thousand, or maybe it will even be more to twenty-four thousand, or it could even be less. Remember, in this, the, what, our calculation doesn't include the, your days off. It is. It assumes that uh, you worked throughout fifty-two weeks a year. 
That's the assumption. So now if you were sick somehow and you couldn't go to work for any reason or you went to the vacation, the money is going to drop from 23,000 to something less. Now, if on the other hand, you have a college degree and you are starting off with college degree, you are starting off with college degree, whatever the degree might be, but you are, you are being employed as a college graduate. This amount, this your earning, this your earning, this one, will automatically double. So instead of um, for uh, 23,000, you will be earning about, just double it, about 46,000. This is basically, this is basically entry level. And in some cases, even more. This is basically entry level for college graduate as at today. So now consider this. If you're earning $46,000 a year, just to start with, and somebody who is earning $23,000 a year, so who's going to have a better life? This is the reality. This is the reality. And this is also the reason why you see some people depending on one kind of government assistance or the, or the other. They are depending on that assistance. It is because whatever that is coming into their earning, into their account, is not enough to sustain their basic life. Basic, basic, basic. You got it? And that is also the reason why some people don't get any government assistance. Same reason. They are not getting government assistance because they are earning more than enough to survive or to live comfortably. Am I making sense, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. This is not to say that somebody who has a high school diploma may not earn more than a minimum wage. That's not what I'm saying. But before you can actually earn that more than uh, that your minimum wage, you must also have developed a special skill that people are willing to pay for. So it's not just, it's not just uh, your high school diploma. You see, for example, now let me, let me use that as, as an example. So you're not going to college. That's an assumption that I'm about to make right now. So if you're not going to college, if I call you to, be, to come and fix my plumbing problem, do you, do, you, do you know how to do that? Or electrical work, or maybe, you know, some things that are needed, or, you know, needed people that people are willing to pay. So it is the acquisition of those extra skills that will increase your earning potential. That's the reality. Enough said.